I'm Hydea, and I have AIDS. Activist Hydea Broadbent has died. Her father, Lorne, announced the sad news on social media, saying in part, despite facing numerous challenges throughout her life, Hydea remained determined to spread hope and positivity through education around HIV AIDS. Being a part of the first generation of children who were born with AIDS, research really saved my life. Broadbent was left at birth at a Nevada hospital before she was adopted by Lorne and Patricia Broadbent. Doctors at the time said she had a life expectancy of only five years. She made the world cry when, as a six-year-old, she explained her desires to basketball star Magic Johnson. I want people to know that we're just normal people. Mm -hmm. Aww. Uh -uh. You, cry. you don't have to cry. <laughs> Because we are normal people, okay? We are. The two continued to advocate for HIV and AIDS education together. HIV, human immunodeficiency virus, attacks the body's immune system. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, the virus can regress into AIDS if left untreated. Wise beyond her years, an 11-year-old Hydea told Oprah Winfrey in 1996 why she remained optimistic. No one really knows how long anybody's going to live because I don't um, tell myself like, oh, you have AIDS or I could go outside and get hit by a bus tomorrow. And you never know if you stay in your bed and feel sorry for yourself and don't get up with the birds and just sit there saying, well, I'm going to die. Why get up and try and make a difference? Mm -hmm. But when you say, well, today's another day, I can get up, I can do some, make something positive. Through speaking engagements and her own foundation, Broadman spent her youth and teen years advocating for HIV and AIDS education and research. And hopefully to see a generation of no more children being born with AIDS, that's my personal life's goal. Broadbent spent her life fighting stigma while spreading knowledge and love. Hydea Broadbent was 39 years old.